Hi, Taylor. This is your reading friend, Amanda. I hope that you are doing well, and I hope that you're taking good care of yourself and your mom and your brother. I miss getting to hear you read every week, so this time I'm going to read a story to you. And so I chose a story called Bobbing Balloons, written by Anne Hearth. Who's going to the magic show tomorrow? Shannon said. I am, said Amber. Me too, said Zeke. It's free, said Lamb. I'm going. It's in City Park, Shannon said. Let's meet there. How? Lamb asked as he kicked the stone. There will be hundreds of people there. Shannon looked through her pockets. I have an idea, she said. She pulled out four balloons. She gave a red balloon to Amber. She gave a blue balloon to Zeke. She gave a green balloon to Lamb. She kept the yellow one. You will need a long stick too. Taylor, what's your favorite color of balloon? I think I would want a purple one. What do we do with them, said Amber. Go to the park tomorrow. Blow up your balloon. Tie it to the stick. Hold it up high. We will find each other. The next day, Shannon and her brother walked to the park. She looked for her friends in the crowd. She couldn't find them. She blew up her yellow balloon and tied it to her stick. She waved it over the crowd. Over there, her brother pointed. A red balloon bobbed closer. And there too, Shannon pointed. A blue balloon bobbed closer. And there, a green balloon bobbed closer. Taylor, don't you think it sounds like she's finding her friends? Shannon waved her stick. The balloon bobbed closer. Soon the friends were all standing together. I found you, Shannon said. Do you remember what color balloon Shannon has? If you said yellow, you're right. Where is the magic show? It was in the park, right? How much does the magic show cost? If you said it's free, then you're right. And who does Shannon go to the park with? She has a brother just like you. So that's who she went to the park with. Well, I had so much fun reading this story uh, for you today, Taylor. So I hope that you keep practicing your reading because you're doing such a good job every week. And I'm so proud of all your hard work. So that's all for today. And I'll talk to you later. Bye, Taylor.